Hello, everybody. Welcome to Public News Podcast. I'm here with Mint Dolphin. Hey, everybody. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, they're just, just coming off stage, man. Uh, hey, you guys were great. Thank I liked you. your performance, man. I liked that your energy awesome. in the front row. Yeah. You, we were digging it. You fueled our fire. Yeah, I was dancing. I was getting down. <laughs> so I got Eric, Lonnie, and Sonny, uh, Spoonie. Spoonie, right? That's right. Yeah, so guys, introduce yourselves, man. I'm Eric Swank. Lonnie. Elliot. Spoonie Forte. Bass. And style, man. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, th this is going to go out, uh, you know, it's live. If you're playing live right now, and then uh, people are going to want to get to know you guys, stuff like that. So, how has uh, Mint Dolphin brought about? What, what, how did how did you guys meet, get together? How long you been around? Uh, well, it, it stemmed. Well, the name Mint Dolphin <clears throat> came from uh, a license plate that I saw on a parked Buick while I was walking my basset hound uh, Bobo, who is recently deceased. Rest in peace, I love Rest you, Bobo. We love and then, you, uh, so the, the license plate out. just said M N T D L F N. And I'm like, if I'm, I was in another band at the point, at that point, but then I'm like, if I ever have another band, I'm going to name it Mint Dolphin. So I thought it was like a sign from above, you know what I mean? And then um, I met these guys through Philly Landeros, and that's um, Ventura Recording Company. And he does my, he's like my sound engineer. So when I go and I record, I go to Philly and because he does an amazing job and he works with most high up productions too sometimes. Um, and they're good local guys in Ventura. And Philly set me up with these two wonderful musicians right here. Yeah, and I just met Philly, man. Nice guy. Yeah. Really nice guy. And then so, so uh, now we're just getting... This is... I think this is the second performance live one together as yeah. a unit. This is this the unit. inaugural this for this unit. unit. Well. Yeah, this was the inaugural, the inaugural performance for this unit. And it felt... How did it feel to you? Moving and grooving. Okay, I think I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so right now good. we're just prepping for good. summertime. We have summer coming up. And we have we do have an album that is already in the can. It's called Beach Axis. And there are like a bunch of really good songs on there. So um, we're going like, to start playing around. Understatement, people. Understatement. Yeah. You're too kind. I'm, I'm modest. No. I'm no where, where, where can people find the music? Uh, right now we have stuff up, well, up on YouTube. It's on Spotify. It's on every... Like, they just go to Mint Dolphin and it'll, yeah, it'll pop there's, up. Yeah, like, there are a couple songs, like in, the baby. songs that have been released. Like There's one song called High Tide that's up. There's a Social Distance Dance. There's a cover of Lola. There's a bunch of things that are already out that you can find. But the new album, which we're um, getting ready to push, uh, those songs will be coming out whenever we decide to release them. Because we need more people to come listen to us before we release them. Otherwise, it, there's no point. Yeah, We're giving it to you. Yeah, so, um, you know, you guys obviously been around music quite a bit. I can just tell by your vibe, you know. So, you know, what, what inspired you guys to play music? You know, I like asking people this because, you know, they're going to see it live. They get to know you a little bit more personal, you know. So each one, like, you know, what was it? Did you go up around music? Is it an artist? You know, what brought you to that that that, that instrument or that voice? You James know, what, what Brown. It? James Brown, hell yeah. yeah. In a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was no I turning back after that. I heard that. <laughs> I seen a dude on the porch when I was uh, in fourth grade. Man, this cat used to like he used to like to dress up like Sly and like <laughs> Hendrix, and he put on a wig and he put on these fancy clothes, and he would uh, take his guitar and he'd go out on the porch. That might be my dad. Actually. And I was like, damn, that motherfucker is fly. I want to be like him. And so I, I used to like, you know, act like I was walking to the store and the store was in the complete polar opposite direction. But I would walk by his place to go to the store to go <laughs> basically <laughs> to do a 180 just to go to the store. And uh, so I kept going around there and then I finally I struck up a conversation with him and he kind of like like my sister because my sister would like humor me and walk to the store and walk by his house, you know, and that whole sort of thing. And he said he would show me how to play music if uh if I introduced him to my sister. And so he, I introduced him to my sister. She didn't like him, but, you know. Um, you got the better end of that deal, Yeah, he had to hold up his end of the deal. You got the better end of that deal. And so that's and where we got to thank me. him for that yeah. one. <laughs> it started from there. Yeah. yeah. What kind of what kind of music did you start start with? What was your what was your thing? Oh man, it was soul, and it was it was actually it was a conglomeration of like all the good shit that he was playing. He was like I said, he did Sly Stone, he did Hendrix, he did like he'd play Edgar Winter, he would play all that good classic 
70s shit. Like, yeah, like yeah. he played Frankenstein on guitar. Bah, dah, 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 dah. And then he'd play like Sly and the Family Stone. And then he would play, you know, he just played all the shit. All yeah. the good stuff. Like, like War, he played Slipping in the Darkness by Ooh. War. You know, and just all the good shit. And so I I was like, just a little, I just, I want to do what you do, dude. Show me what you do. <laughs> so, now, now you're doing it, man. Yeah, it started it well. from there. And good it just you. blossomed, you know. Yeah. How about you? How I don't you have know? a story like that. Mine, yeah. no, that was a good story. <laughs> Mine, it was very winded, I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, no, my dad was a musician. He played trumpet in a, a Chicago tribute band on the East Coast. And I just, I guess my roommate in college, when I finally got to college, he ended up being a musician. And I, it never even dawned on me that that could actually be, like, you could do that for a career or whatever not like this isn't a career but because like, I'm not getting paid but you know <laughs> I uh, I have to have a day job but um, I just like I was inspired by him and um, that's pretty much it really and I like Prince oh I love so. Prince I love Prince yeah so. Yeah, but you know, talking about the, the, the trumpet, you know, when we get bands coming here and they, you know, they got all the horns sections, yeah. it's like nothing else, man. They, oh, there's, you know, especially, you know, we have, uh, next level. yeah, we have uh, the Mexican night and we have the banda uh -huh. and there's like 15 of them, you know, and some of them start out the parking lot oh, and they just start yeah. stomping and they come right through the front door and I have to, you know, extend the stage just to get all these dudes up there and they just rock it out, man. It goes through, you know, that the horns are yeah. they're incredible, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I love watching people play the horns, man. I love it. Yeah. So, what about you, man? What's your uh, what's your history with music? What's, oh, what's inspired wow, you? Oh, man. Well, I'm from Pittsburgh. Uh, Steelers fan? You Steelers fan? Oh. I was in Baltimore for uh, 30 years, man. Ravens. No, I ain't mad at you, bro. <laughs> you know, it's all it's all good. It's all good. I'm not mad at you, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm hardcore, hardcore Steeler, Pirate, Penguins. Uh, I I go back as far as the triangles. Does anybody know the triangles? No, no. That was the the tennis team, Yvonne Gulagan, uh, when they had professional tennis for about a half a minute in the mid to late seventies. And we had a professional <laughs> professional tennis team, and it was the Damn. Pittsburgh Triangles. No shit. Yeah. So I'm hard score, uh, hardcore again uh, on on our our sports franchises out of Pittsburgh. Yeah. That aside, music is my first love. Uh, it's uh, enriched in jazz from Pittsburgh. A lot of people don't know that Pittsburgh was actually the jazz hub even before New York sort of took it over. Right. Uh, Pittsburgh was, a, you, you left Kansas, you went to Pittsburgh, and yeah. that was the hub for a long time. Wow. There's a, yeah, yeah. Back east, though, the jazz is it's, it's really big. Yeah. You know, Baltimore and D.C., they got a lot of nice jazz clubs. You know, absolutely. I spent thirty years back there, and the whole the music scene is completely different than out here. You yeah. know, but yeah, absolutely, but it, it's got its own vibe to it. You know, and but uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think the West Coast is known more for uh, dare I say, um, polishing production on music. Yeah. Um, but uh, a lot of the roots of it, you know, not that uh, the West Coast has splintered its own genres and multitudes of uh, different uh, eclectic areas of music but production is where we live on the west coast <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um and and to that yeah we met in the studio i'm i'm actually in studio b in uh, the and the uh, venture recording, recording company. company um and so i'm a pretty much a studio rat as much as possible this gentleman and i uh yeah we we met on the live vein um, doing some live performances and uh, we ain't never turned back. We, you know, we feel it. This is my right hand right here. Hell yeah. And sometimes Hell my yeah. left hand, but definitely <laughs> my right hand for right sure. On, but uh, yeah, we uh, we all come together. I, I brought in enrichment. I came from uh, from the East Coast, like I said, came to the West Coast in the late seventies, and that was a beautiful experience. And spent some time in Vegas, um, still going on the jazz vein. And then when I got to L.A., I was in. Uh, uh, some very prominent schools for performing arts, and uh, yeah, just sort of never looked back. Um, Good for you, man. Good for you. Unlike my friend here, I've never done anything but music since high school. 
So well, she's been living off it ain't been easy, brother, but it's, I'm still here. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Hey, doing what you so, love, man. Do what you it's love. A, it's a good thing. It's a great journey, and I'm loving it, man. Awesome. I live life through rhythm. That's what I do. Well, hey, you know, uh, I I really want to thank you guys, you know, for for coming here. First of all, Glad sharing, to be you know, here. sharing your Glad talents, you know, and, and it, 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 you guys, you guys were great. You know, when you get this new record, you guys get, you know, you know, continue move forward. Man, I'd love to have you guys back here. Love We'd to love to come back. back. Love thank to you be so back. much for the hospitality. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you all. Yep. Absolutely. So, yeah. Hey, guys, check out Mint Dolphin. And it was, it was after every song, that little that dolphin sound. Like, yeah. Dude, yeah, that was yeah. cool. You heard correct. Yeah, I heard. I was like, what? Yeah, so that was cool. But yeah, guys, check out Mint Dolphin. You guys, you know, incredible talents, you know, and they got, got a lot more coming out. And, uh, you know, check, uh, just where can they find you guys for the upcoming shows? Uh, Instagram. We have a website, mintdolphinmusic.com. Um, check in with Ezra at Most Haya. What's your information? Uh, most Haya presents or Most Haya on Insta? Yeah, Most Haya on Insta. He's a great supporter Woo! too. I've actually have all. We love you. We love you, brother. Yeah. So. E to the Z. Yeah. Hey. No, but yeah, Ezra, you know, he, everybody already knows he brings all the music here. Yeah, that's you know, what we love him. Yeah. I, I open the doors, he brings in the talent. We need you know, 10,000 more. He was actually right. one of the first people that I met when I first moved to this uh, town back in 2004. Yeah, right? Yeah. That was a long time. Right? Yeah, man, one of the first persons. I was just like, you know what? That guy right there. We got the jam one time, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, everywhere goes funny. It's a funny story, man. So I, I was back, back east, and uh, I had a construction company, and the, the dude working for me was... Uh, friends with HR, Bad Brains, and oh, he, was, cool. so he was doing a documentary on him, oh, you know, man. and he's he, he the guy Seamus, and uh, so things were going down or whatever, uh, he had interviewed Ezra for the for the documentary, and I saw the documentary, and, you know, HR, all of them were there, and then, uh, you know, a year later, I move out here to take over the restaurant, you know, and I started doing music during COVID, just oh, to piss wow. off the government, wow. you know, because oh, I was like, I'm not shutting down, I stayed open and fought them and everything, and, you know, then, uh, you know, my buddy said, oh, you got to meet this guy, Ezra. You got to meet this guy, Ezra. And sure enough, here he is. Now he's running all the music here and everything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, I was going to eat to the Z. Yeah, just the other day, we had this kid here. He was talking about being in Washington, playing uh, music. This dude's from Washington. He goes, you're Ezra. You're in this band. Yeah, so it's like, man, everybody knows him. Yeah, with 96. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That is amazing. Yeah, so man, I'm honored. I'm honored. Yeah, I'm honored to have Ezra on my team. Music connects us in many ways. Yeah. Absolutely. So, well, hey man, hey guys, check out Mint Dolphin. I, uh, <laughs> We're here you know, for you. <laughs> for a good time, Mint Dolphin. Good night, fellas. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Bro. Peace. Yeah, hell yeah.